Hello everyone, welcome to the Hampton Law Firm. I'm Jeff Hampton with the Hampton Law Firm and I wanted to take a couple of minutes today to answer a question that a prospective client called me about and said, hey Jeff, I resolved my domestic violence case a couple of years ago. I didn't go to jail. I think it was dismissed. What do I need to do to get it off my criminal record? Today what I'm going to do is we're going to cover the ins and outs of how do I get a domestic violence case and a domestic violence arrest off my criminal record. I encourage you, if you like what you hear today, don't, don't hesitate to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great criminal defense content just like this. All right, so some of the questions we're gonna ask and answer is, do I qualify? How do I know if I qualify? What specific, uh, specific steps do I need to take in order to get the actual arrest expunged from my record? Now, I wanna jump right in. How do we get it clear? What do we need to do? Well, here's the first thing you must ask when you're looking to see if you need to, how you're able, or if you're eligible to be able to get an, ex, uh, an expunction uh, of your domestic violence arrest. The first thing you have to ask is how was your case resolved? A couple of specific rules here. If your case was resolved with jail time, you are not eligible for, uh, to clear it off your record. That's number one. Number two, if you received a deferred adjudication, you are not eligible to have a domestic violence arrest removed from your record. Number three, if you received a straight probation, you are not eligible to have your domestic violence case expunged from your record. This is why it's so important you hire the right lawyer to fight the case ahead of time so that way you can be eligible to have this entire arrest and the, all the records expunged from your record. So some people ask and they're confused. They say, wait a minute, I heard a deferred adjudication allows you to possibly get a non-disclosure. Well, that is true for some cases. You can death charges, certain other types of offenses, drug cases. You complete that deferred adjudication probation, sometimes you can get a non-disclosure, but one exception is domestic violence cases. Not eligible, so you can't take it. All right, now, if your case was a felony, what if you had a felony domestic violence case and your case was no-billed by a grand jury? You are eligible, but there is a waiting period. Under the Texas law, you must wait three years from the date of the no-bill, from the date that the case was no-billed before you are eligible to file for a petition for expunction. Now, many of my clients come back to me when I tell them that and they say, wait a minute, that doesn't seem fair. A no-bill is an exoneration. I've been exonerated by the grand jury. They have found that there's not sufficient evidence to pursue the case. Why do I have to wait three years? I get it, it's not fair, but that's the law. You have to wait three years from the date of the no bill before you can get it expunged from your record. What if your case was a misdemeanor family violence case? If you're misdemeanor, if you had a misdemeanor family violence case, you must wait a two year waiting period from the date that the case was dismissed before you can file for an expunction. Now, sometimes what can happen is a good uh, attorney can negotiate that misdemeanor family violence, a class A, say, a, for instance, let's say it's an assault bodily injury family member, class A misdemeanor, they can sometimes negotiate that down to a class C ticket, assault by contact. Now here's the one exception to that deferred rule that I told you about a minute ago. If you take a class A misdemeanor assault bodily injury family member and you drop it down to a class C ticket, and if you complete that deferred, you are eligible. You can get an expunction two years after the date of the dismissal of the deferred, okay? So the key is it had to have gone from a class A misdemeanor down to a class C deferred. If you receive a class C deferred, you are eligible, okay? Class C misdemeanor deferred. All right, now what if it started off as a class C ticket? If it started off as a class C ticket, if your case was dismissed, you are eligible, potentially, you may be eligible for an expunction immediately upon, upon the actual dismissal of the charge. So now, I, I, I brought up earlier, what are the actual steps that you have to take? How do I actually get an expunction cleared off of my record? Well, number one, you must file a petition for expunction. Now, I'm going to speak about Tarrant County for a second, but in Tarrant County, if you file a petition for expunction, 
there is a mandatory $425 filing fee. Now I'm going to be frank with you, every year they raise that fee. Every year it seems to go up a little bit. So you got to pay $425 chunk just to the county just to get this off your record. That doesn't include anything that you might decide if you want to hire an attorney on that. So $425 legal fee. Then you have to go into a hearing in front, of, in front of a felony district court judge to argue the expunction. The judge then signs the orders. The orders are then sent out, publicdata.com, sheriff's department, DPS, FBI, local police departments. Every agency that has any record of your arrest is then notified about these court orders and everything is completely destroyed on your record, zeroed out like it never happened. Literally, it becomes a legal fiction. You can say you have never been arrested for a charge. That's the whole point here. Now, if you have some specific questions about how to clear your domestic violence case of arrest, um, or maybe you just have some general questions about uh, criminal defense in Texas, I encourage you, leave some comments down here below on our YouTube video. We'll try to get back to you on it. And if you liked what you saw and have heard today, click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, I promised you if you waited around to the end of this video, I'd give you a free resource, what to do if you have been charged with a domestic violence case or a domestic violence charge in Texas. All you got to do is click the link right down here below and uh, the, fill out the email information. We'll be happy to send it over to you. And I hope you've enjoyed what you've heard today. And I look forward to seeing you on our next video. Take care.